We come back now to talking about fallacies of relevance, and there's another particular category of such fallacies, and these are appeals to emotion. Now, emotions are great and wonderful things, and they can actually help us decide uh, things to do. They influence the way we think, and, and again, emotions are appropriate. But sometimes an appeal to emotion can be inappropriate. It just doesn't really fit the type of argument that one is, was trying to make, and it really makes for a weak argument, one that is actually not persuasive. And the first of these uh, fallacies um, that appeal to emotion, uh, still fallacies of relevance, uh, is the fallacy ad baculum. And no surprise, once again, that, that comes from last. Ad baculum means to the stick. Literally, it's, it's the stick of, of punishment, right? To think about how afraid you would be if somebody said, you know, you're going to get punished with a stick if you don't agree with what I say. So while literally ad baculum means to the stick, what you want to think about is that this is really an appeal to fear, okay? An appeal to fear. Let's take a look at a classic example. Uh, here is a Roman mother talking to her sons, and she says, You boys should stop misbehaving. Hannibal is at the gates. And one of the boys replies, Oh, mater. No, oh, mom. Now, this was apparently a common thing uh, that ancient Roman parents used to do. Uh, you may recall your ancient Roman history. Hannibal was the great enemy of the Romans in the 3rd century B.C., and uh, he invaded Italy, actually came from North Africa, came up through Spain uh, and through ancient Gaul, crossed over the Alps with his famous elephants, and marched down into Italy. And after that, mothers and dads would sometimes say to their children, uh, hey, you need to watch your behavior because Hannibal is at the gates. Right? They were really threatening their children uh, with the fear of this this enemy who had attacked their city. Now, to be honest, that's really not a good argument for why a child should behave. It's not really a good argument for, for much of anything. Uh, so that sort of appeal to fear is a weak argument, and it's one of these appeals to emotion uh, that we categorize under the fallacies of relevance. Now, don't mistake that with the appeal to outright force. I, I know that I already said that, that ad baculum, right, means to the stick. But really, as a fallacy, it's about an appeal to fear, okay? Don't confuse that with outright threatening of force. Um, I want to show you a little clip from uh, a television show. Actually, it was based on the writings of a fellow named P.G. Woodhouse. E.G. Woodhouse. And uh, this guy was absolutely hilarious. I think a lot of you would actually enjoy uh, some of his books. But he created a couple of characters uh, named Jeeves and Wooster. And he wrote several novels about these guys. It was done into a television show uh, at one point. And the character Wooster, Bertie Wooster, uh, is this young man. He's uh, pretty much a silly character. And he always finds himself in uh, extraordinary circumstances. Well, in this clip you're about to watch, uh, someone has accused Bertie Wooster of stealing a, a little silver cow creamer. It's something that you would, you would put cream in to pour into your tea. Someone had accused him of stealing it even though he didn't. Now watch how this clip goes and you'll see what an appeal to force actually looks like. Well, you're being watched, Wooster. Watched closely. There's going to be a police guard on the cow creamer. And if you're caught trying to steal it, I shall immediately beat you to a jelly. Or perhaps you think you will be clever enough to steal it without being detected. Listen to this. If that thing disappears at all, I shall know where it has gone, and I shall still beat you to a jelly. You will then go to prison. Have you got that clear? Uh, definitely splendid. 
So again, that's an appeal to force, right? That's not really what we're talking about with ad baculum. Ad baculum is specifically the appeal to fear. Now, it's only a fallacy if that's irrelevant to the argument. Sometimes an appeal to fear can be relevant, as in this classic children's rhyme. Here's all the little uh, creatures. We've got the uh, butterfly, the bee, the, the dragonfly, and the centipede, and they're all saying, Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire. Your children will burn. The little ladybug is thinking, yikes. Now, obviously, that is an appeal to fear and an appropriate one, right? If Ladybug's house actually is on fire, she needs to get home, right? She needs to rescue her children. So the ad baculum is only a fallacy when it is inappropriate to the argument. If fear is appropriate, then, then you're okay. Now, there's another appeal to uh, emotion we want to talk about in this video, and that is ad misericordiam. And ad misericordiam is literally the appeal to pity. The appeal to pity in Latin. Misericordiam is Latin for pity. And again, there might be times when it's appropriate uh, to, to feel the emotion of pity, to evoke pity uh, in someone else. For example, if you're legitimately trying uh, maybe to help someone. Take a look at this example. Here the little girl in gold says, would you like to donate some items to help a family in our church? Their house was destroyed by the tornado last week. And the fellow in blue says, I'm so sorry to hear that. Of course I will help. Now, that's an appeal to pity that is appropriate, right? I mean, obviously someone's going to feel pity for, for a family whose house has been destroyed. Uh, and, and you might use that, not in an inappropriate way. You're saying, I'm, I'm collecting goods. You need to know why I'm doing that. I'm not just trying to take your stuff, right? I, I'm wanting you to give to help this family in need. That's an appropriate use of that emotion. But when you use that to really get something that isn't related, right, to, to that emotion, then you're using it inappropriately. Take a look at this example. So here's Logic Dragon and Kangaroo, and Logic Dragon says, would you mind hopping away from those wooden huts? Kangaroo says, mm, why do you ask? And Logic Dragon says, I need to practice breathing fire. You wouldn't want me to lose my special skill, would you? And Kangaroo says, well... Now, if you think about that, Dragon wants to burn down those wooden huts. That's not really a very good thing. Dragon is trying to appeal to Kangaroo's sense of pity in order to get what he really wants. And that's the inappropriate use of ad misericordia. So I think you see what's going on here with both ad baculum and ad misericordia. Both can be used, an appeal to fear and an appeal to pity, can be used appropriately. You want to watch out, though, if you're using them inappropriately in ways that really do not have to do with your actual argument, in ways that are completely self-seeking and self-centered, and ways that just weaken your argument altogether.